Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and welcome to our Platform Shooter Part 16. In this video, we're going to be learning about adding invincibility frames to the main character. This is requested by Alpaca Animations, Inc. He asked if we could do invincibility frames, and I said, sure, we can do those. I'll show you how to do invincibility frames. And then I'm also going to show you guys how to make the character blink, because... I feel like that's uh, those two things kind of go hand in hand. Your character blinks when they're invincible. So let's get started. First, we're going to come into our character, our object player right here, and we're going to create a new variable. And Game Maker might look a little bit different to you right now. That's because uh, they recently updated it. So we get they changed the font on me to this font. Uh, I don't mind it for now, I'll just leave it like this. It's maybe a little bit more readable in videos anyways. And then they made some changes over here. Uh, so it might look just a little bit different from the last videos, but it's still pretty much the same thing. So let's, uh, let's create a new variable here called invincible. Pretty sure that's how you spell it. And we'll set this equal to false. Okay, so we have invincible set to false. We're going to create a new alarm to go along with this. We'll create alarm one. And this alarm will be for invincibility frames. And at the end of this alarm, we'll just set invincible equal to false. So we're no longer invincible. Now, if we get hit by an enemy bullet right here, we're going to set our invincibility. And it depends on how much you want to actually set this to, but I'm just going to set it to about one second. So we'll set invincible equal to true, and then we'll set alarm one, which is our invincibility alarm, equal to uh, 60, I think, is our room speed. And there's, an, there's a, or our game speed. Let's double check. Yep, we're at 60. There is a way to get this, and I think it's game get speed, and then you have to pass in a type. I think I remember that it's game speed FPS is what we want to get, and this should return 60. So then the other thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we can't take damage when we're invincible. So we have to say if invincible equals false then we do this stuff right here so we only take damage if invincible equals false and we should be able to run the game and test it real fast And you can see the bullets just go right through us when we're invincible. And maybe we don't want that. Maybe we want the bullets to actually destroy every time they hit us. So I'm going to put that down here. We just don't take damage when, when we're invincible. So we'll put this down here. We might even play the sound, actually. No, no, no. We don't want to play the hurt sound. So we will destroy the bullet no matter what. Let's run it one more time and we can test this. And the first one deals damage, but the other ones don't. Now, you can decide whether or not you want the bullet to get destroyed still. That's kind of up to you. Okay, well, we've added invincibility frames. How do we add blinking? And this gets a little bit tricky. But let me show you some math. Okay. So one thing we could do is we could just have it blink. Uh, you, so there's, there's this function called the mod function, which returns the remainder of something. And a lot of times people will use it to determine whether something is odd or even. And so if you pass in, if you, if you do something like uh, 10 mod 2, like this, then if if this number right here is even, this will be zero. 
because the remainder of this is zero. But if this number right here is like 11, then there, it won't be zero. And so there will be a remainder, probably a remainder of one. So the output is either zero or one, zero or one. Actually, it's a range between zero and one, I think, depending on if this is like 11.5 or uh, 10.5, right? So then we get, we get a smaller, a different remainder than one. But yeah, you can you get the idea that you can use this to alternate between 0 and 1. Now, you can actually use this in order to create blinking at certain intervals. So let's come into, uh, I don't remember the name of this website, um, but it's a graphing website. And I'm going to show you uh, how to graph this. So we have to use the mod function, and then we need to pass in a variable. Well, we'll pass in x for now. So we're going to do mod x to, uh, and we need some sort of interval. So let's say our interval, our interval is eight, okay? And you can see that gives us this graph like this. Remember how when we did it with two, it would be uh, zero to one, right? And continue up like this. The output is always 0 to 1, 0 to 1, 0 to 1, 0 to 1. Well, if we do it with a bigger number, we get a bigger range. So we get 0 to 8, 0 to 8. Is that right? Is that correct? This is 8? Yeah. Yeah, 0 to 8, 0 to 8, 0 to 8, 0 to 8. So we get the different, uh, we get the different range here. But this is, this still is returning like, it's not returning true or false right here. It's returning a range. So we want this to return either true or false. And the way that we can do that is we can say mod x to 8 is greater than half, and I'm going to use half, but you could use anything, I guess, half of our interval amount. So let's do 4. Now that's what we want. We get this range right here is true, this range right here is false, this range right here is true, this range right here is false. So we can use this to create blinking. Now, it looks a little bit different in GameMaker, but let's do that. And we're going to pass in our alarm value right here, alarm 1, instead of the, instead of the, in, instead of the X. So let's see, this is where we're drawing the player. So we're going to say right here, if alarm one and then to use the mod function game maker you can just do this the percentage sign mod and let's create a local variable here that's our interval var interval equals eight eight seems to work pretty well so interval eight and then mod interval if mod interval is less than or equal to interval divided by 2. Then we'll draw the player. Let's give this a try real quick and see if this works. If I if I was able to do the math correctly in Game Maker. And you can see, oh, when we take damage, the character starts blinking. And those are the invincibility points. And you can mess with this interval, like let's say you want an interval of 16. Then it blinks a little bit slower. I think 16 is actually better. Now maybe you want your character to actually blink a certain color like blink red instead of instead of just blinking on and off. If you wanted to do that, you could do an else right here. And inside of this else, you could take all of this right here that we were drawing before, and you could, uh, well, actually, 
I wonder if we could just put, let's do this as a, I'm going to try something different here. We'll put all of our drawing stuff after this right here. And then if we're inside this interval right here, there's a little trick inside of Game Maker Studio 2. And this, you could use a shader for this, but this is a great little trick if you don't want to do a shader. You can set the fog. GPU set fog. We'll set this equal to true. The color is whatever color we want it to be, so let's do it to red. The start will be zero and the end will be one. And this is actually when we set we want to set it to false in here. So just copy this right here. Set it to false. So we'll set it to true. And then at the very end of this, we want to set it all back to false again, like that. Let's see if that works, if I did this correctly. We get hit. Yep, we blink red for a second. There you go. So that works. Uh, the reason we have to set GPU, set, set it back to false here, I think is because if we don't, everything will blink red, which would be hilarious. Let's try it. Yep, <laughs> the whole screen blinks red. So you want to make sure that you set it back to false right after we draw the draw the player and the gun like this. Uh, you might want to make it blink white instead. See if that is more what you'd like for invincibility frames. I actually think just normal blinking looks pretty good. Actually, I really like blinking white. Okay, so now what we can do is we have enough for another script, I think. So let's create an interval script. Uh, I'm not quite sure how to name this. Let's see, we could call it interval, interval off. Yeah, that's pretty good, I guess. And we'll do interval is off. And then what we'll want to do is kind of want to get this right here so I can see a little bit better. And we'll want to say, oops, I didn't quite get it over far enough. There we go. We'll pass in some parameters. So we can say arg. Uh, value arg interval say argument one like this so we've got our value and our interval and then we can say return uh, value mod we need parentheses around this interval is less than or equal to interval divided by two we'll just return it like that okay now we can use this in multiple locations and we can remove it from here we can just say interval is off and the value that we want to pass in is alarm one and the interval we want to pass in is 16 and we'll just do it like this and oh, I've got an extra parentheses there okay
And then you could use this interval is off script and use it pretty much wherever you want it in your game. Maybe you'd like to use, maybe you'd like to apply the same principle to the enemies and have them blink red when they're damaged and give them some invincibility frames. But you also don't have to give them invincibility frames. You could just have them blink when they're being damaged uh, for a certain amount of time after they're damaged. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you learned something from it and enjoyed it. If you did, be sure and give it a thumbs up and share it and I will talk to you guys later.